How to calculate drainage area. If you're working on a civil engineering project and need to figure out how to calculate the drainage area, you're in the right place. Let's break it down step by step. First, you need to understand what the drainage area is. It's the land area that drains water into a specific point, like a storm sewer or a stream. To calculate this, you'll need a few key pieces of information. Start by identifying the physical boundaries of the area you're interested in. This could be a rooftop, a parking lot, or even a larger area like a neighborhood. Once you have the boundaries, measure the area in square feet or acres. For small areas like rooftops or parking lots, you can simply calculate the square footage by multiplying the length and width of the area. For larger areas, you might need to use a map or GIS software to determine the total area in acres. The rational method, which is commonly used for small drainage areas, requires the area to be less than 20 acres for best results. Next, you need to determine the surface type of the area. Different surfaces have different runoff coefficients, which are essential for calculating the peak runoff rate. For example, Asphalt has a higher runoff coefficient than grass because it allows more water to run off rather than soak into the ground. Once you have the area and the surface type, you can use the rational formula to calculate the peak runoff rate. The formula is Q is equal to psi A, where Q is the peak rate of runoff, C is the runoff coefficient, I is the average intensity of rainfall, and A is the watershed area in acres. Here's a simple example. If you have a parking lot that is five acres in size and the runoff coefficient for asphalt is 0.9 and the average rainfall intensity is two inches per hour, you can plug these values into the formula to find the peak runoff rate. Remember, the time of concentration, Tc, is also important. This is the time it takes for water to flow from the most distant point in the watershed to the point of design. This helps you determine the correct rainfall intensity to use in your calculations. By following these steps, you can accurately calculate the drainage area and the peak runoff rate, which is crucial for designing effective stormwater management systems. So, take your time, gather the right data, and you'll be well on your way to managing stormwater runoff like a pro.